This is the time of year when a lot of proud parents watch their children receive their high school diplomas. But it's shocking to learn how many kids in this country never get one. A loss not only for them, but for society and the economy as well. Now, thanks to new programs on both sides of the country, there's real hope for the future. Bill Whitaker continues our series, Where America Stands. Good morning, kids. Good morning. A typical day in the schools of Philadelphia. And Saray White is an all too typical student. So many things about. She stopped going to school last year. The teachers didn't care, the students didn't care. And was on her way to becoming one more dropout. It seemed like nobody cared, so why should I? In Philadelphia, the country's sixth largest city, about one of every three students fails to graduate, about the national average. The country's report card on dropouts, a dismal D. Of the 4 million students who enter high school every year, almost 1.3 million will drop out before graduation. That's 7,000 every school day, one dropout every 26 seconds. So the system is broken. Michael Piskel founded View Park Prep Charter School in Los Angeles. It's not working for teachers, it's not working for the students, it's not working for society. The dropout problem is even worse in big cities. Almost half of all students in the country's 50 largest school districts fail to get high school diplomas. 30 years ago, the U.S. led the world in high school graduation. Today, we rank 18th among industrial nations. The reasons why? As varied as the dropouts themselves. I have two kids. I wasn't learning anything. The stairwell smelled like marijuana. I felt really unsafe. I had F's in all my classes. Family problems, pregnancy, boredom, safety. Why should what happens here matter to every American? Well, besides the intrinsic value of education itself, when one American lacks an education, it hurts us all in the wallet. Dropouts cost taxpayers more than $8 billion annually in public assistance programs like food stamps. High school dropouts earn about $10,000 less a year than workers with diplomas. That's $300 billion in lost lifetime earnings for each class of dropouts. They're more likely to be unemployed. 15% are out of work versus a national average of 10%. They also are more likely to be incarcerated. Almost 60% of federal inmates are high school dropouts. When you have high schools in Los Angeles that send more kids to prison than they graduate kids from college, it's time for a radical, radical change. Michael Piskel has found a solution. The former English teacher at the most rigorous private school in Los Angeles opened View Park Prep 15 years ago, bringing the private school's curriculum to one of South LA's toughest neighborhoods. What's best for the rich kids is best for all kids. At the local public schools, more than 50% of students drop out. And X equals 10. Not at so View Park. These are the same kids as in the public schools. They're admitted by lottery. But here, everything is geared toward getting to and succeeding in college. So when we're writing this essay tonight... The curriculum focused on building college-level study habits and writing skills. Starting in sixth grade, analytical writing is required in every course, even math and science. Average class size, 18, half the size of public schools. And teachers are available after hours for any student needing help. We believe that our students can achieve. Why wouldn't they? The result? 100% of these students graduate and go to top-notch colleges. I attend UC Berkeley. Go to Ithaca College. I go to Pitzer College. Back in Philadelphia, another solution. Our dropout rate in the district is um, going down and our graduation rate is going up. Courtney Collins Shapiro is overseeing a dramatic turnaround with the district's comprehensive dropout prevention program. With an early warning system starting in sixth grade to identify at-risk students, like repeat truants or those failing English or math. For those who've already dropped out, there's a re-engagement center to help them drop back now, in. What we do here is go to day four. If a young person isn't coming, how do I get you to school? Is it tutoring? Is it one-on-one? -on -one? Is it pulling them out, putting them in a smaller class? What do we have to do? This recent report found that Philadelphia improved its graduation rate by 23 percent. That's more than any other city. we got a team of people from other cities in here like every month. They want to say, how are you doing this? I'm giving you guys the poem, Black Woman. It's For Saray White, small classes and an accelerated program I proved the perfect fit. And I think that's so, what most kids are here for because they needed somebody to you know, grab their hand and pull them up. 
Saray wants to go to art school after graduation. She painted this mural as a gift to her new school. So is this what you're feeling these days? Hope. I have that. I have hope. I'm not feeling it. I have it. Hope. For the first time in decades, that word can be applied to America's dropout problem. Bill Whitaker, CBS News, Philadelphia.